Here I will tell you about a gasifier designed specifically for heating water. It works on agricultural waste. It is an attempt to make an omnivorous gasifier, which could be loaded with various stems and other byproducts instead of specially prepared cube-shaped fuel used in Burt downdraft gasifiers. It was specifically designed for third-world countries, where a lot of agricultural waste accumulates. However, this gasifier will also be relevant for European countries, where it is forbidden to use conventional solid fuel boilers. They emit smoke, and, as direct combustion is forbidden, other technologies should be used. I was approached by Europeans who wanted to build gasifiers to heat their production sites. They were forbidden to install an ordinary wood-fired boiler. A special gasifier for water heating was created because there is a need for hot water in many growing industries, textile, dairy, and many others. It is an attempt to make a very efficient water heater capable of running on waste agricultural fuel. Hot water is also used in refrigeration systems. The device has the following parameters, it heats 0.67 kilograms of water per second to 120 degrees, i.e. produces steam at a pressure of 3 atmospheres. The gasifier efficiency is higher than that of conventional solid fuel direct combustion boilers. The gasifier has been improved to use the most of energy. Let's take a look at it. If you just heat water with the flare of gas coming out of a gasifier, you get a 24% efficiency. But if you make water jackets, you can increase efficiency up to 48%. The device consumes 9 kilograms of fuel per hour. It produces 22 kilowatts of heat. The tube or tuyere belt diameter is 300 millimeters. The temperature inside the reactor is about 700 degrees. This allows the use agricultural waste which ash melts at low temperatures. The scientists practically tested two models. The efficiency of the first one is 24%. Its photo shows that output gas burns under the tubular heat exchanger with circulating water. Later, the scientists abandoned this model and let the water flow around the gasifier and the horizontal burner. The efficiency doubled and exceeded 48%. For myself, I have to say that the authors have calculated the thickness of insulation and heat loss areas very thoroughly. The figures are given in the article. I don't share these details with you in the video. If anyone is interested, he can read the text following the link in the description under the video. See you soon.